So this is where ex zinc exploration expenditure is happening in 2014. You can see here this is the annual exploration budgets and the locations. Um, what you can see here is that the rest of the world is, is the dominant. But when they do start to split out regions, Latin America, Africa, Canada, Australia are the key four regional areas other than this one, which is basically the, the rest of the world. And this is where, this is a slightly different table because now it is actually showing, showing countries. And this is the, the actual expiration dollar, the expiration budget going into those different countries. And you can see there also that what it has interest is that it also shows you the number of companies that are operating in those, those countries. So you've got China, which is uh, pretty well taking 13% of the world's exploration expenditure for zinc. And there's, there's only 27, well, there's 27 companies that the surveyors know about operating in China. You look at the next um, country there, Canada, it's pretty similar in terms of the budget being spent there, but it's got 47 companies working in there. So there's a biggest range of companies who are operating in, in the Canadian area. Some of the, the trends, just to show you in terms of uh, annuals, this is the, the, the way it goes. You can see there that expiration expenditure changes fairly, it's fairly volatile in terms of the amount of money that uh, might be spent each year. And the next graph shows you how much drilling activity, because drilling is a, quite an important metric for expiration, because if you don't drill, you don't find anything. You ultimately have to drill. So this me metric is a good feel for you know, how busy is the industry, where are they actually, um, are they really doing a lot of money spending, or are they spending a lot of their money on drilling? Moving across now, this particular graph table it shows you where the current mineral resources and ore reserves are by country. And you can see there that China stands out like a country mile. You know, there's, there's China and then the rest of the world. Now, I'm going to show you another table very shortly, which is slightly different to this one. But the Chinese has, the China has a huge inventory of mineral resources and ore reserves. And everyone else is, is pretty well second. Uh, Australia comes in second in that list. And that's pretty interesting because China was the biggest producer and Australia was the second biggest producer in the last few years. So that pretty well makes sense. This one is a really more important one because this shows you the zinc metal produced and the ore reserves. Now this is a subset of the previous table. The previous table showed mineral resources and ore reserves. This is only showing ore reserves. Really important to note here that you can see that we've got, this is our annual production. So we're producing around 13 and a half million tons of zinc each year. We only have 230 million tons of reserves. So that's less than 20 years of production based on our, our ore reserves. So that's a very, very different picture from the previous slide, which says that we have almost unlimited resources and reserves. We just have not converted those resources, primarily in China, into ore reserves. You can see here China is, is easily number one. When it actually comes to reserves, China is no longer number one. Other countries have more reserves than China does. And individual countries there only have enough reserves to supply one year's production for the whole world. So you can see there Mexico, uh, India. The, the production is thir 13, over 13 million tons. And individual company, countries only have maybe half a year or one year of reserves if they were supplying the whole, the whole world. So it's a really telling statistic here that we don't have a lot of ore reserves ahead of us, less than 20 years, but we have a huge inventory of, of mineral resources that presumably will get converted to ore reserves at some time in the future. Individually, the largest projects, and here's where you get that huge um, inventory of mineral resources and, and ore reserves from the Chinese deposit, it's really held in one, one, one project there. So that zinc contained in, in reserves and resources is, is from one project in China. And then you go down and you can see there even the, the biggest deposits outside the, the Chinese project, they could only supply one or two years of, 
of world production from their um, mineral resource and oil resource. So it's a pretty interesting comment in terms of supply and demand. 